Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So Virgo, I sat down and I pulled some energy for your person and I am conflicted. And interestingly enough, right, I stopped right on the Eight of Swords and this talks about conflict, inner conflict, mental turmoil, anguish. So I feel like you might be feeling a little stuck or feel a little like unsure about how to move in this connection. Now, I find that like, uh, I don't know, just, I feel like you have some level of clarity here, Berg, but there's also this part of you who's like, I also feel unsure. And I say that because we pulled two cards for your person, right? The first card is date. So I feel like whoever this person is that you're romantically interested in or who's romantically interested in you is ready for that new phase for you guys, right? We also have the Phoenix here. So they're ready to rekindle, ready, ready to reconcile, renew this relationship, and they're excited about it. So I'm getting two energies for you guys, right? It could be one set of Virgos who's dating this new person after you've been stabbed in the back by somebody else or someone else was very, very deceptive here. All right, you could have gone through even some sort of separation um, with someone that you actually tried to work it, work on it before with or uh, work it out with. Um, but for some of you guys, it could be that same person. All right, and that could be why you're in your head about it. Like, wait a minute now. I, I see you got on a new, a whole new facade or whatever this is you're trying to present to me like you're brand new, but I can see you. So I'm not, so we'll see what this, what this energy is very you, you take where you're at with it, but I'm going to get your energy first. Then I'm going to get deeper into your person. So what is going on with my Virgo? How is my Virgo feeling about this situation? I'm going to be able to tell from the first card. Okay. So this is reconciliation. Bottom deck, the high pre Spirit is like, Virgo knows exactly, okay, what you're talking about. They're, Virgo is not confused in any form of that word. So with the Six of Cups, this is like you reconciling with this person, okay? You definitely had great memories with them, great times. I feel like this connection was very special to you, very near and dear to your heart. I also feel like for some of you Virgos, that's also why it's difficult for you to break free from this person or to truly let them go because of the history, all right? And even if your history is not extensive, it's just what you guys have gone through has created a level of closeness that you have not felt before. Okay, give me one. I just got also, Virg, this person could have felt like you, uh, you broke their heart or you inflicted some sort of pain in them by leaving or by lying. Okay, something they weren't plan they, they didn't uh, see coming. All right, give me more here, Spirit. Why is the Six of Cups? Okay, Two of Swords. Give me one more. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like Virg, why you're, yeah, <laughs> the devil in the reverse, why you're like conflicted about this connection here is because you go back and forth in your mind about two options. It's like, should I continue to let the fact that this person is good with me in the past, or we have this really great history or this really great rapport that we used to have? Should I go based off on that? Or should I try to take it slow? Right now, what both of those things have in common is the fact that you're still going to be dealing with this person in some sort of capacity. Okay, maybe you have to. Maybe there's a child involved. But for what I'm getting here in this reading, Berg, is that at the very least, you're going to see where it goes or you want to invest in the connection a bit. Because I feel like, Berg, you could have you could have had some toxicity with this person, okay, especially with the devil card. 333 was on the timer as I said that. So, yeah, the uh, spirit's like, not could have, but did. All right, definitely for some of you guys, let me know down below. Um, but with that devil in the reverse, I feel like you're... you're uh, approaching this relationship in a whole new fashion you're not that same virgo like that this person was with you're different like you're not gonna you're not gonna give in to their toxicity at all if they have any right but you're not giving into any toxicity that's, that's just how you feel okay give me more give me more how the virgo's feeling toward this person okay the death card and the six of swords. Okay. So Virgo, Virgo, you're like, yeah, we could, we could move on, right? As long as things transform. And I feel like that's why you're stuck in your head. Cause you're like, is this really going to transform though? Because I feel like part of you is understanding that it's not all on you. It takes two to tango. So you could be doing your best by not giving this pain, this person any mind or giving them any attention when things are toxic, but it's like, it's not all on you. This person has to do their work too. And from looking at this person, it's like they're ready for a rekindling and a new phase. Okay, I feel like with the Phoenix also represents some level of growth that your person could have gone through. Okay, I feel like they're also being more um, responsible in dating you or they're more like planned and like setting things, thinking ahead. And you hadn't really seen that from them in a while. And as I say thinking ahead, I'm looking right at thoughts here. 
Okay, I feel like this person could have uh, flaked on you before or said or canceled last minute, but they're like, nah, I can't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, nah, the Virgo doesn't take well to that. All right, give me more. So what are you feeling? What is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're trying to figure it out. All right, but I also feel like, Virgo, one thing about it... <laughs> One thing you're going to be able to do is bounce back if all else fails. If all else fails, one thing you can do always is stand up straight and be out. Okay, because you didn't did that before, Virg. And I feel like that's kind of what shocks your person or surprises your person. But you're like, <laughs> I'm like, you need to expect the unexpected when dealing with the Virgo at this time. Because you don't want to be as predictable as you were. All right. So what is it? What, uh, what do you want primarily? What do you really want from this connection here, Virg? Then I'm going to get to your person. What are you really wanting from this connection? Okay, two, two of pentacles. Yeah, you still don't know. Like, you're still not completely decided. You're like, I still, I still got to figure it out. You're still trying to go. You're still trying to figure out if the past bond that you had holds more weight or if you should just like, you know, give and proceed with a lot of caution. Okay, I feel like you're erring toward proceeding with a lot of caution, although you would love to go head first with this person. <clears throat> Okay, so let's get your person's energy. We're already starting off bottom of the deck, the two of cups. Okay. So what is this person's energy toward my Virgo spirit? Oh, all right. That five of wands wanted to pop out. So I do feel like, um, hmm, I feel like they're very conflicted. Okay. Or um, they can sometimes start an argument with you or they're just upset at how things have gone. Okay, and Virgo, <laughs> Virgo's like, yeah, this is that BS I'm talking about. Give me more. What is this person's energy toward my Virgo at this time? Okay, we got the four of wow, four of swords in the reverse. Okay, so what, okay, give me one more before I say that. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like Virgo, this person is not at peace. Not at all. Not at all when it comes to the state that you guys are in at this time, because how they're feeling toward you is like queen of swords. Part of them still feels like they need to protect themselves or you're protecting yourself from them because you're not going all in. And I felt like I was touching on that bit of unpredictability from you here, Virg. Like you're not, you, you don't want this person to be able to always like know exactly what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. I feel like you walk away from this person a lot or you'll, or somebody has a very low threshold for arguments or pettiness nowadays. It's like, okay, you want to argue? Yeah, I'm going to go head out. I feel like somebody just keeps walking away. Maybe it's you, Berg, or it could have been this person. But they'll walk away quick, whoever this is. And I feel like they know that that has, if that's this person, they know that that has kind of hardened you toward them. Okay, give me more here, Spirit, on this person's energy toward my Virgo. So what's making them want to date? Or, okay, Queen of Pen. <laughs> Spirit's like, are you silly? Okay, we got Queen of Pentacles energy. Male and female does not matter, but you're just you're made you're made for a uh, to be in a wonderful union, just period. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is someone's wife, okay, or somebody's counterpart. So I feel like that's something that they have not let go with the Nine of Swords here in the reverse. Okay, they're very clear about that. They're very clear about the want to commit to you. Okay, but it's like maybe past infractions have made it a, a bit more difficult to get to this place with you because they're still viewing you as someone so beautiful or so handsome. And you also have this energy to you here, um, Virg, where you'll take care of people who you don't have to necessarily take care of. Like maybe you're that type of person who's always cooking for friends or like, hey, do you need this? Or I can bring you this. Or, you know, you just have that kind of nurturing energy. Male or female doesn't matter, but it's an it's a, it's a energy that has a draw to it. Okay, um, and this person, they love every bit of it. Also, somebody here has an accent, okay, a foreign accent. They could have grown up in a very, um, like, like, green, like greenery. There's a lot of greenery or, or, or a lot of nature around them. I just dropped a card. It looks like, ugh, wow, my twin flame card. I, I heard just do it, okay? I don't know why. I don't know why I heard that. Like, yeah, like the Nike logo, like just do it. Um, but with the lovers here, how they're viewing you, this bond, like, <laughs> Berg, the, the bond that this person feel, has with you, right? Because I, I know, I see that you have this as well, but it looks like you're more able to 
pivot away from this if things don't work out. But this person, they feel like this bond is unbreakable. They're like, ain't no such thing as it's not working out. Okay, so I feel like in their deepest heart of hearts, what they're really wanting is, is, to, re is to rekindle this flame. Excuse me, okay, like really ignite this. I feel like there's an energy with your person where they don't want to... They don't want to let this go to waste because you guys have gone through so much. Yeah, as I say that, we stop at the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, Two of Swords. Now, again, how they're feeling how they're feeling about you. I feel like they have similar reservations to you, but I don't think that's going to stop them from uh, from loving you or from showing you that, like, no, I really do want this. Okay, because with Ace of Wands, this is like a a re a reunited a reunited um reignited I should say reignited flame or reignited passion okay what's making this person feel like this or what's making them want to do things differently this time around what is this okay we have seven seven this same set came out for the Leo reading today okay um but with seven seven this is like they feel lucky right when you get sevens you you feel an air of luck or they feel lucky that you're in their life and they know that this is something worth nurturing. They don't want to leave the connection anymore. All right. For some of you guys, it was definitely uh, this person who, who would leave. Okay. Yeah. Definitely this person who would leave and ghost the situation. Okay. But it's like they, it's almost like they pity themselves for doing that. Or that was a, a, a much larger burden on them than you even thought. Okay. Give me more. Give me more of this person's energy toward my Virgo spirit. Okay, wow. As I said, sevens are lucky. Now we got a third seven. So something about this person feeling like uh, they're lucky that you're in their life or they're lucky that you stayed around and that you're still around. Okay, during all their issues, during all the, during the time when they were not their best selves in this union here. Okay, because now it's like they're cleaned up or they want you to see them as cleaned up. It's like, I'm open to you, Virg. I'm presenting myself to you. Okay, give me more. Page of Swords. <laughs> okay, so again, Eight of Pentacles, willing to work on this, willing to do what it takes. Um, but they feel as though you might still be a bit skeptical. Okay, and the thing about a Virgo, when you get skeptical, the best thing that you know how to do is focus on your work or focus on yourself. Like you kind of, like you're still present, Virg. Like I'm getting the energy of you being present, but you have this energy to you where it's like you're just focused on something else. Like something else primarily has your attention. And I don't feel like it's another person either. I feel like it's just, that's just how you deal with things. Like you're not going to go back and forth with this person. Like you're not, you realize how, what role you played, right? In the demise of this connection too. So I feel like you're, you're not, you're just not going to do that. Like I'm not going to be on any type of nonsense with you. Okay. You can do that by yourself. All right. Give me more in your spirit on this person's energy toward my Virgo. Give me more on this person's energy toward my Virgo at this time. More on this person's energy. Okay, lightning. That talks about sudden changes or an epiphany moment. Okay, a major transformation. And wow, yeah, this is sounding very similar to the Leo. So um, I feel like this is what they want to bring on, this, this sudden change. Or they want you to see like, hey... Virg, I have changed here and I want you to see it. Honor it. Watch me here, Virg. Like I, I've changed things. I really want you to see that in me. Yeah. Okay. Give me more. Okay. Mask, not showing their true feelings. Right? So I feel like this person, they have the 10, this person, whoever this is, could be very sensitive. All right. But, and they, they don't let you know. So it's like, you could have a very harsh tongue sometimes, Virg. And the things you say cuts very deeply, even if it, you don't mean to, you're just being matter of fact. But I feel like the fact that you're able to like exchange with this person without being so emotional hurts their feelings. Like they get hurt. Like I feel like this person is, uh, you can hurt their feelings really, really easily only because they care so much about you. Okay, wow, we have karmic relationship. So this could definitely have the characteristics of a karmic relationship, meaning that you guys trigger each other, right? Or there's a lot of lessons to learn. And for me, I'm not one of those readers who condemn karmic relationships. Some of them could actually be very beneficial here. But um, more than anything, you guys have grown from this connection with each other. Okay, and I feel like, again, you know how to trigger this person too, uh, Virg. But I feel like you don't do it or, or you try not to. Like you just don't. You just don't want no smoke. You're just not with any of that. Okay. 
Okay, give me more on this person's energy toward my Virgo spirit. Give me more on this person's energy toward my Virgo at this time. <clears throat> I just heard I told you I would. I told you I would. Okay, maybe you didn't think this person would do something or you expected them to fall short and they didn't. And you're like, oh, okay, so you, you're trying to change change. Okay, wow. I told you I would take you on that date, Virgo. I told you that things were changing, Virg. Look, I told you. Okay, this person could have even requested for time off to, uh, you know, have whatever this outing is. Because I see at the bottom of the deck, my boss. All right, or they got denied. Their time got denied for some of you guys. But I'm going to go into the, um, into the extended, Virg. I'm going to uncover these cards, and I want to get this person's next steps. Um, also, how they're truly feeling towards you and have not said, since they do tend to wear a mask sometimes, as well as likely outcomes. So if you are interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.